whiskey, Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And today I'm in Ireland. Today I have Bushmills, 28 year old Malaga casks finished. Well, the word finish after 13 years old, 13 years of the cask is a little bit of a redundant sentence. So what we have here is a Causeway collection. It was actually distilled on the 6th of April, 1992. Da, 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 da. Now, in Ireland, there was a 1995 edition, and it wasn't 28 years old. It was only 25, only 25 years old. Uh, we have over here in Germany, 53.6. Um, um, the other one, the 25-year-old, so 53.5. We have um, 689 bottles. You had 2,491 bottles. And they were both um, then filled um, on, in the bottles on the year 2020. So on the bottle, it says here that it was re, um, recasked on the 9th of July, 2007. I would have a question. Why would you do it in the middle of summer? I was always told that the casks, the new cask, Malaga, port, rum, and so on, should be delivered not in the hot months of summer. Hmm. So, um, just a question there, and I have bottle number 585. So, 53.6%. Now, we've been bugging... Bush Mills now for years, please give us something except for the normal 40%. And they heard us. Thank you. The master blender, Helen um, Mulholland, she is actually responsible for the Causeway collection. There's a 10 years old, there's a 28 years old, there's a 25 year old, there's a 30 year old. I haven't seen that here in Germany yet. And um, this actually cost me 377 euros which is 420 and some um, dollars. So it's a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a little bit um, uh, decadent. I have the 21 year old Bushmills here and I have the 16 year old Bushmills here. So, and I don't think I can get all of this on the table together with the box, so the box is going away. All right, so what we have here are the three different major um, expressions that I at the moment have. So the 28-year-old is a Malaga, the 21 is a Madeira, and the 16-year-old is a Port. They all start off in bourbon and sherry, or loads of sherry, and they all get a finish in their appropriate casks later on. Now, I do not remember exactly, or I'm not told exactly how long the finish was with the Madeira. Um, and I was never told how long it was here for the um, port. But this was six, 13 years in the Malaga cast. So f 15 years normal and 13 years of a finish, second maturation. Um, whiskey base number 170166. I love this whiskey. I just did my German video and I think I said the word wow 35 times. <laughs> so, uh, be warned that I don't think I've ever had a whiskey I've loved as much as this. I've had the Family Reserve from um, Van Winkel Rye, which now costs three, four, five, seven thousand dollars per bottle, which I loved as well. Um, I love the Redbreast 21, which is more of an A minus A whiskey. This is actually, in my opinion, better. Oh, on the nose, it's a honey do berry moment. What type of berries? I get plums, I get raspberries, but there's no tartness, there's no sourness whatsoever about this. It's all sweet, it's all triacle, it's all syrup. Oh. Mm. Over here, the 21-year-old Madeira. I get a lot more of a lemon tartness, a more of an orange peel tartness. I'm not a big fan of Madeira. I think that's just a little bit too, um, too much in some cases. It just doesn't hit my sweet spot. Um, on contrary, the 16-year-old um, um, Bushmill 16 with a port. Mm, 
hits exactly my sweet spot. I love this. This is great. And when I taste it, I go, oh, nice, nice, nice. And then the aftertaste, just it's just like a turbo kicks in. It's just like, oh, great. This is like, yeah. This was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> it actually went off the screen there. I was just, I was amazed at what this could do and what this did. I never, never expected that. So imagine a wonderfully crafted Bushmills with 53.6%, um, 28 years old, 13 of those in a Malaga cask or casks. This is just, this is a match made in heaven. Cheers. Mmm. 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 It's like I don't even want to swallow. I want my, my, my cheeks and my tongue and my taste buds to absorb all this goodness. Oh. Oh. Mmm. It's a long lasting finish. I had the image of imagine someone back in the old ancient Greece. They'd be laying on this hammock or whatever, and there'd be two people, maybe women or men, I don't care, going and putting grapes in their mouth. And imagine you actually had every 12 minutes like a big drop of this whiskey just go in there. You just go, mmm, nom, 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 nom. And that's what I'm getting here. This is, this is so delicious. Um, mmm. It doesn't taste like 53.7%. The alcohol in this moment carries, transports, conveys all this taste without actually going in the forder and the front and um, disturbing anything. Everything's just perfectly balanced. This is a honey barrel or honey barrels if I've ever had them. So good. So good. Ah, oh, yum, yum, yum. This was, for many, many people, the pinnacle of Bushmills up until now. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's so weak. It's so watery compared to this. Yes, you do get a nice, nice fruity moment there. You do get a wonderful, wonderful type of Madeira. For me, it's more like a um, um, forest strawberry moment. It's there. It's everything you want. It's exactly what you expect and you've learned. You, maybe you have and I have learned to love or actually to like. This is for me a B plus type of whiskey. It doesn't hit my spot perfectly like it should. On contrary, the 16-year-old Bushmills with the port mixed together with the sherry and the ex-bourbon and 40%, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah. Just that aftertaste just goes up and just really elevates this whiskey to another level, which I totally love. But, and this is the problem that I have here, this whiskey starts at that level where this whiskey ends. It starts here and actually goes up. I'm going to give this whiskey an A+. I've never given a whiskey an A+, before. I've given A's, Redbreast 21, um, what else got an A? I forgot. <laughs> Um, this is an A+. Plus. This is actually, if not, this is the best whiskey I have ever tried in my life. And I've had over 1,800 different whiskeys in videos before, not with standing all the different um, blind tastings, all of the other Sunday evening tastings I've done and so on. I've tasted well over 2,000 different whiskeys easily, and this beats them, in my opinion, them all. And hands down. So I, I haven't even tried this with water. I don't want to put water in this. I think this is just a perfect, perfect composition of what whiskey, in particular Irish whiskey, triple distilled, single malt from Bush, Bush Mills can be. 
Helen Mulholland, I raise this class to you and I say thank you. Thank you for finally giving us whiskey, which is not just 40%, but cast strength and such a magnificent bottle as this is something which is a, a once in a decade, I don't want to say once in a lifetime, but once in a decade type of treat. Thank you, thank you, thank you to your health and to many more um, gems like this. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to swallow. I just want to keep as much of the juice in my cheeks and my tongue as possible and just let it all soak in that goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. And it gets better actually, as I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm so sorry, 698 bottles of this. I have only found this online in German shops. I do not know if it will be exported to other countries at all. Um, Ireland has their own cask. Germany basically got this cask. I am going to go buy another bottle of this. Um, I found it online for 12 euros cheaper. Wow, only 365 euros. And I'm going to do a second bottle share with this um, just so people can actually experience the goodness of what a excellent, excellent whiskey can actually be. Oh, wow. I'm happy. Uh, thank you very much for participating in this special moment. Thank you very much for being um, so patient with me why I gush and um, gab about this bottle. It is perfection for me. And I don't think I've ever said that before. I really, really, really enjoy this. Thank you very much. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. The Bushmills 28 Malaga cask. Um, 698 bottles. 53.6%. Whiskey base 170166. Um, April 6, 1992. Bottled 2020. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.